kisses. Save me for later, like some flowers for a missus. Like a smoker keeps a cigarette in his pocket. I would go on Saturdays to the local jam, and the only jam I could go to being underage was at Buds on Broadway, which was a blues bar. I had a couple friends that I played music with there, and we'd go down on Saturdays, and everyone was doing blues. I, I sort of was more of a classic rock, like listening to Heart and Super Tramp, and like not quite what went on at Buds, but, but it was really cool. It was kind of my first introduction to blues music, and I would go every Saturday and learn tunes. So I got to hear Canadian artists, um, Canadian-based artists, I should say, like Ellen McElwain, and I would go and stand there as a, an aspiring guitar player and watch her. She's an amazing slide player and a singer and uh, leading her own band, like Sue Foley. It's kind of where I got my roots, and I would play bass at uh, the jams a lot, and then I ended up hosting them. So I'd be the bass player, and there was a friend that played drums and a guitar player, Curtis Scarrow. And, so every Saturday we'd host it and eventually I just was playing more music and moved out east and then I ended up playing bass in Ellen McElwain's Eastern Band and I played with Sue Foley on bass for a while and it's just amazing where you know where things get their start and where they'll they'll end up. cool to see how many more young women are picking up the guitar and really rocking it and, and letting loose on it. It's, it's a great thing. 